The VFW Post 3596 Auxiliary meets the second Monday of every month at 4 p.m. in the Plains VFW. If you are looking for a great meal that is easy on the pocketbook, head on down to the Dixon Senior Center. They are serving dinner meals on Mondays at 5 and on Thursdays starting at noon. Well, dinner is great and all, but what if I would like to find a good breakfast with good people? Well, then you're in luck. You can also join the Dixon Senior Center for breakfast. It is served Monday through Friday from 7 to 11 a.m., and you can bet the coffee's strong. The Plains Area Toastmasters meet every Thursday at 7 p.m. in the Home Economics Room at the Plains High School. Visitors are welcome, but you better bring your public speaking face. I think I left it at home. Well, it's been a pretty nice spring this year, but have you noticed how high the water is in the river lately? Yeah, I have. Well, actually, according to the Fish, Wildlife, and Parks, the Clark Fork River recently hit its highest level in 10 years. Whoa, I knew it was high, but decade high marks, it's impressive. Indeed. But the Fish, Wildlife, and Parks would also like to remind us that this also means that there is an abnormal amount of large debris lurking on the surface or just below the surface. Yeah, like fish to catch. Well, I think they're talking more about logs, limbs, and other brush making its way down the river. Whew. Sounds dangerous. Yes, it does. And the Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks have these four recommendations for boaters to keep in mind before thinking of boating this time of year. That Fish, Wildlife, and Parks, they think of everything, don't they? You know them. Check this out. Point number one, don't boat alone. Yeah, and imaginary friends don't count. Yeah. Two, make sure someone on shore knows where you put in, take out, and when you plan to return. Sound advice for sure. C. If the water is in a state that you wouldn't swim in, then don't put your boat in. And fourthly, if you do launch, wear a well-fitted life vest and in rough waters, a helmet. Thank you, Fish, Wildlife, and Parks, for providing us with some boater safety tips. Heading back to the shore, the Plains Public Schools, number one, is looking for volunteers to help coach both high school and junior high cross country for the 2009-2010 school year. Application forms are available at the high school office. Sounds like a lot of running. There will be a meeting held by the Montana Department of Transportation to discuss the proposal to repair the bridge deck on the bridge crossing the Clark Fork River on Montana Highway 135 between St. Regis and Paradise. The purpose of the meeting is to inform the public of the project status and proposed design. The meeting will take place at the St. Regis Community Center at 38 Lobo Loop in St. Regis on Thursday, July 9th at 6 p.m. The meeting is open to the public and will be recorded. Comments may be submitted in writing at the meeting or by mail to Shane Stack, Pre-Construction Engineer, MDT, P.O. Box 7039, Missoula, Montana, 59807-7039, or online at www.mdt.mt.gov backslash mdt backslash comment underscore form dot shtml. Please indicate that the comments are for project CN6337. Comments should be submitted by August 10th. If you would like to attend but have a disability that may interfere with your ability to participate, please contact Paul Grant at 406-444-9415 at least two days before the meeting, and he can set you up with reasonable accommodations. Alternative accessible formats of this information will be provided upon request. Up next, we have Dr. Jones, who is going to be giving us an advanced look at our next week's weather before it happens predictably. Hi, I'm Dr. Jones, and this is your look at this week's weather. Monday looks to be sunny. 78 for the high. 50 for the low. Tuesday is also sunny. 80 for the high. 50 for the low. Wednesday will be sunny too. 85 for the high. 54 for the low. Thir and Thursday, another sunny day. 88 for the high. 55 for the low. Friday looks to be sunny, 86 for the high, 56 for the low. 
Saturday have happy birthday, America. 86 for the high, 55 for the low. Sunday partly cloudy, 82 for the high, 53 for the low. I'm Dr. Jones and this is your look at uh, this week's weather. Back to you. Thank you, Dr. Jones, for that gripping and even possibly accurate weather forecast. Now back to the news. Are you looking for something to do during the day on the 4th of July? Well, actually, my family and I were... That sounds lame. I know your family, and they'd be much more interested in the one-day event known as David Thompson Days. David Thompson Days? I thought you said it was a one-day event. Well, you can't be too picky about the name thing. The event will take place on July 4th, starting at 10 a.m. with a parade. It begins at Ainsworth Field and ends in the Rendezvous Camp at the Rose Garden Park, which will be open from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., featuring a Mountain Man reenactment rendezvous camp. At the rendezvous, historical actors will portray life from two centuries ago for Thompson and his Northwest Company of Voyagers. Visitors can see and handle everything from period tents to flintlock rifles, knives, pellets, beads, leather goods, and other relics typical of the era and similar to those traded among the native people in Thompson. Historic crafts, books, commemorative t-shirts, flags, and other goods will be available for sale, as well as hot dogs, hamburgers, sodas, and goodies. I'm getting hungry. Live music will be performed throughout the day, including a bagpiper. The event will also feature two showings of the locally produced Shadows of David Thompson. There you go again. There's only one David Thompson. How can he be casting many shadows? Maybe it was more than one light source. I don't know. The film of Thompson's life will play at the Rex Theater at noon and 2 p.m. It is also rumored that jet fighters from the U.S. Air Force will do a flyover sometime during the day's events. A true testament to this forgotten American pioneer. Speaking of forgotten, maybe you've forgotten that if David Thompson had had his way, we'd be standing on Canadian soil right now. Oh, well. To enter the parade, call Colleen March at the First Security Bank at 827-7000. David Thompson Days is sponsored by the Thompson Falls Chamber of Commerce and Blackfoot Telephone and supported by the City of Thompson Falls and many other businesses and civic organizations. Your friends at Avista know that it is a season for outdoor activities. With that in mind, they have sent out a guideline of ATV safety tips that are sure to help you be safe while riding your ATV. The first thing that they ask you to do is dress appropriately meaning headgear, helmet, goggles, calf boots with low heels, long sleeve shirts, gloves, and long pants. Never wear sandals, shorts, or short sleeve shirts, or fanny packs because they're just ugly. Prepare for the weather. Rain or shine, dress for the weather, and be prepared for changing conditions. This is Montana after all. Ride responsibly. Know what land your ATV is permitted on and stay out of sensitive areas such as wetlands or areas closed for habitat conservation. And if any of your friends say, sure, you can make it, don't take their word for it. Use your best judgment. Remember, folks, to drive an ATV in Montana, you must be licensed through the state. Visit your local DMV for details. Make sure any riders under 16 are supervised and not alone. Most ATV manufacturers have warning stickers right on the vehicle. Ignore these at your own risk. And when riding on trails and back roads, ride single file. It's not safe to ride tandem across the road.